Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm going to use these Arteza pre mixed paints again, same as I did with the previous little pour. Um, I actually really, really like the results of these, but I lost all my purple. So I'm going to go again and put a little bit more purple in this time because, I mean, really, I had a quarter purple. Out of four, only one was purple. So, you know. And it had a little bit more purple. I just had that on there so that I could focus because my camera didn't know what to focus on. A white tile. I'm just putting my dirty gloves back on. Saving whatever we can. We're using the puppy pedal pad. Okay, now the white pillow paint. If you missed the previous video, the pillow is what you put down before you put your puddle of colour on. And then your colour slides around on the pillow. So this is just uh, white internal low sheen white wall paint. I'm getting a bit of shadowing there, so I'll turn my light back on. I turned it off before because I took you in for a close-up, but it's making shadows. So it's probably best if I leave it on to video and then turn it off when I do a close-up, hey, I think that's probably a better thing to do. A little bit more, a little bit in the middle. Okay, um, I might start with the dark green this time. Whoops, I go too hard, I might have gone all the way down. And then some um, what will we do next all right let's put the lime down and then a little bit of black i don't know that you saw much of the black but i don't want it to take over so <laughs> it looks like a little happy face there it doesn't want to kind of stream out like that it just wants to blob out all right and then the purple put lots of purple and then oh there we go look at his dribbling out dribbling out that's what I was thinking a little bit more of that and I go with some more purple look this is the end of the purple I think that's probably all I'm gonna get out of that I can leave it upside down maybe don't think I'd get another Pour with the purple though. A purple pour. Okay, I've got my little blower ready. There's a bubble. Okay. White cell activator, three parts flow troll, two, one part paint. And you only need about a 10 cent piece size if you're in Australia. 10 cent piece. Straight down into the white first. And then Try and spread it. Push that white very gently over the top of your other colours. Very gently. Oh, look, I've got purple. Yay. So, yeah, very, very gently with the white over the top. Don't blast it so all your colours go flying. Let's see if I can get anything else to come up in here. Really don't want to disrupt my lacing though. Oh, that's looking really, really pretty, you guys. Now I don't want the middle ones to grow too much, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it. If you wait too long, your middle ones grow, and then when you've spun everything, they've grown even more, and they look a bit weird because it's too big. So I think it's nicer just to spin now before they get too big. And I've got plenty of paint on the surface, as you can see. I'm keen to see what it's going to look like. Oh, look at all that purple. Well, more purple than the previous one anyway. A bit of a rainbow happening there. It's very delicate lacing, isn't it? I wonder what would happen if I used a two to one ratio with my cell activator. Might need to do that because my the paints are, are thinner than what I would normally use. So I may have to go to a thicker cell activator. But this is looking really pretty. Let me spin the other way. 
and see if I can get a little bit more of that paint off the corner. A little rainbow corner happening there. It's got lacing. Look at that. It looks like pink lacing because of the purple and the white together. It's gone right over the corner. I would like it to go a little bit more over the corner there. So let's just go one more time. Hang on here. I think I kind of moved my tile a bit then as I spun it. Oh, look at that. I've got lacing right to that corner. Look at that. Wowzers. That's so pretty. Very nice. Okay, now my lime green's gone. It's just no pleasing this woman, is there? The other one had lots of lime green in it. Stop spinning. I'll grab it for you. Hang on. One sec. Don't go anywhere. So this was the same colours. But see, no purple. So now I made the purple more dominant. And I've got no lime green. Oh my gosh. Third time's a charm? No. I'm out of purple now. So I can't do any more. Right, let me get you down for a close-up. And then that will be me done, I think. I've got lots of Arteza paint still left. I'm just trying to get my gloves off. It's tricky to get off when they're covered in paint underneath, hey? Because then you just get your fingers all covered in paint. Ugh. And I'm, uh, I want to use them again, so I have to get them off. All right, there we go. They're off. Hang on one sec. I'll come and get you. It's really pretty. I'm so surprised. I'm so impressed. Wow. Sure does beat mixing up paints. Now let me turn my light off. Okay. I should really put that light somewhere that I can actually reach it more easily. Okay, so the lime has gone. The black, hmm, there's a little bit of black just showing through here and there. But, um, oh my gosh, look at the pink lacing. It's just spread right to the edges. Look at that. Right up to the edges. So pretty. There's that little rainbow corner that I left a little bit of. Now you can see what I mean about the middle. Well, oh, there we go, back to normal colour. <laughs> Actually, it, looks, it always looks more blue through my screen. It's actually more, it's more of a turquoise. Um, when I put the photo up, you'll see it's got more green in it rather than so much blue. It's just different when you look through a screen, hey, it changes it. But see how the middle cells, I mean, there's way, way less white now than there was. So even if you've got quite a lot of white in the middle when you before you spin, that's okay because most of it will go. And I like that pop of white in the center there. I think that's really pretty. But um, if you leave your cells too long to grow, then your middle, I think, gets a little bit ugly. They're, they're reasonable size at the moment. They're not ugly in the middle there. Wow, I'm so impressed. It's a pity I don't have any other premix paints I can test. I know Mark Mart makes some. Mm, who else? Who else makes a pre-mixed paint that I can get my hands on. Oh, sorry about that light there. Overhead light. Um, yeah, can't think. You guys let me know. Who else makes a pre-mixed paint that I can readily get my hands on? I'll probably have to order from the States, won't I? Go through Amazon. Take about two weeks. I'll just have another play with these. I, I've got still quite a lot left in the box there. Different colours. These were neons, not that they really look like neon at the moment. They just look like normal paints, don't they? All right, I will see what I can find in my little box. 
and keep experimenting for you. But yeah, if you don't want to go to the, all the trouble of you know buying all the ingredients um, for the bloom technique, just buy your white pillow paint and some Australian Floetrol and some um, titanium white paint. Uh, if you can't get the Australian Floetrol, there's lots of recipes around for the um, the American Floetrol and you add a little bit of um, wood conditioner or something like that. But yeah, there's lots of recipes floating around um, and lots of YouTubes on, on how to do it from people in the States. So you can check those out and I'm sure you'll get very, very similar results. So yeah, and if I can do it, you guys can do it. You sure can. I mean, you just watched me. It was so easy. Get yourself a little spinner. Makes the world of difference. And a little blower. Seriously, a little gentle blower. Don't blow the bejesus out of your white CA. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's getting late. <laughs> I shouldn't be painting this time of night. I'm just going stupid. I chat too much. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.